Hey, welcome back. In this video, we're going to connect Eclipse and Tomcat. So far in our video series, we've installed Tomcat and we've installed Eclipse. And these are two separate applications. But what we want to do now is actually connect them together. So the main benefit is that once we connect Eclipse and Tomcat, then we can start Tomcat from Eclipse. And then also this will make it very easy for us to deploy our applications directly to Tomcat. We won't have to manually start or manually deploy. We can do all of this automatically within the Eclipse framework. All right, so let's go ahead and move into Eclipse. And what we're going to do here is um, we're going to connect Eclipse to Tomcat. So down in our bottom center, we have a tab called Servers. And right now, we don't have any servers installed. We're going to follow the directions here and create a new server. So we'll go ahead and click that link to create a new server. All right, so this will bring us to a page. Um, Eclipse supports a lot of different servers, uh, but what we're, what we're going to do here is make use of the Apache Tomcat server. So expand the folder here for Apache, scroll down, and we'll choose our version. We're using Tomcat 8. And then we'll go ahead and click on Next. Now we need to tell Eclipse where Tomcat is installed. So wherever you have Tomcat installed in your directory, that's the uh, directory information you should give. So here I'll just kind of browse my file system. And I know in this class, JSF for Beginners, Apache Tomcat 8, uh, that's the directory that we've installed Tomcat for uh, this training class. You may have it installed in a different directory. Simply choose that directory accordingly. But for my example, I have JSF for Beginners, Apache Tomcat 8. And then once you have that directory set up, then you can go ahead and hit Finish. And this will go ahead and set up the configuration. All right, so right now the server's actually stopped and we can actually start the server by just making use of a right click. So I can just right click on this item here and I can say start server. So right click start. And this will actually start up the server. Uh, we'll see a lot of information on the console uh, window on the far right. And eventually at the end, it'll say server startup in X number of milliseconds. So we know that our server is started and running. And we can also verify this by looking at the servers tab. So it says that Tomcat 8 is started and it's synchronized. So this looks really good. So our Tomcat server is started and we're able to launch it from the um, Eclipse application. So this looks good. In our next video, I'll actually show you how to deploy a JSF application on the Tomcat server. But the main focus of this video is just starting Tomcat uh, from Eclipse. All right, so this wraps up the video. In this video, I showed you how to connect Eclipse and Tomcat together. And so we found out how we can actually start the Tomcat server from within Eclipse. 